you try to launch any game protected by easy anti-cheat, usually it's Epic Games Fortnite. However, it doesn't run, and the easy anti-cheat throws you an error that there is an untrusted system file, and the system file in question is kernel32.dll, which is located in Windows System32 directory. Forget the global root and everything, easy anti-cheat for some reason thinks it's Linux. If you search how to solve this issue online, there will be a few tutorials telling you to reinstall easy anti-cheat to remove the certificates and let it download them again, and so on. This is a legitimate advice, and even on my channel there is a video how to do that. However, in this particular case, it won't help, since this is a Windows file. And moreover, kernel32 is the core of Windows system. And the reason why easy anti-cheat flags this file is because it is outdated. So easy anti-cheat tries to prevent cheating in many ways, including blocking files that are known to have vulnerabilities that might be exploited by cheating software. And that includes all outdated and not supported versions of Windows files. And the Windows system used in this case is Microsoft Windows 11 Pro, and 11 is the most recent version of Windows at the time I am making this video. However, besides the Windows version, there is also Windows build. You can learn which build you are on by going to About section in System Settings, or by launching WinVer command, which will show you your Windows version and the build number. So, in this particular case, even though the Windows is the most recent one, the build number is 22000. And 22000 is the very first release of Windows 11, which was in 2021. I am making this video in 2025, four years after this build was released, and someone from the comments is still using it. The support for this Windows ended in 2023, so it's an obsolete version of Windows, and this is exactly why Easy Anti-Cheat blocks it. So I do have a solution for this problem, and most probably you will not like it, however you don't actually have a choice if you want to play Fortnite. Your only choice is either to install a supported Windows version, or don't play Fortnite. These are the only two choices for you. So one way to go is to update Windows through Windows updates. However, it may be a very bad idea, since you will receive four years of updates, and Windows update is a very bad way to update Windows, since it still will keep a lot of outdated files, and the end result will be actually trash. So instead of a working Windows machine, you will have a trash machine. So the way to go, which you will probably won't like, is to download a Windows install. I would say the most recent one, 24H2, however, it was reported to have lots of problems, so maybe go with the previous release. Anyway, download the complete Windows installation, copy it to a USB thumbstick, then boot from that thumbstick, delete everything you have on your system drive, it will all be gone, so make sure to back up everything of importance beforehand and perform a clean Windows install. After you have a fresh Windows install, continue to install drivers, programs, Epic Games Launcher, Fortnite, Easy Anti-Cheat, without complaining about kernel32.dll. That's the way to go if you want to play Fortnite. And if you are watching this video from the future, and you still have this error with this particular file, kernel32.dll, the reason is the same, you have an outdated version of Windows, an unsupported version of Windows, and the only way to solve this problem is to install a recent and supported version of Windows. And this is the only solution. You can search other solutions online until you throw up, but no amount of tinkering will force Easy Anti-Cheat actually let you in to play online on an outdated version of Windows. So you can whine, you can cry and call me names in the comments all you want, you can dislike this video all you want, 
it won't change this reality that easy anti-cheat does not allow you to play on an outdated version of Windows. And you can do absolutely nothing about that. But if you want to play Fortnite, you need to reinstall Windows to a fresh supported version. And that will fix this error. I'm the god of YouTube! Like, subscribe, jingle bells.